Well, here we are. It is SHW 51. An incredible night is ahead of us. And uh, are you ready for this new chapter? I'm excited. The fans are live here tonight in the action building. I can't wait. It's going to be incredible. Let's kick things off with the Jake the Snake Legacy Tournament semifinal. Well, needless to say, it is uh, perhaps the least favorite competitor in this tournament for at least two-thirds of the three. It's Bryce Cannon, who, well, let's just say this. He was not originally scheduled to even be a part of this tournament. Yet, by his own bit of chicanery, and thanks to, you know, an open slot left by the now all-elite <laughs> amazing Carly Bravo, here it is, Bryce Cannon has found his way into the semifinals and is one match away from ultimately becoming champion here. Yeah, how crazy is that? I mean, you can't take anything away from this guy. He's found a way, and, and it's kind of fitting because it is the snake tournament. He snaked his way in at the last minute, and he's made it to the semifinals here. And, of course, they never travel alone. Exotic youth in tow, along with Bryce Cannon here tonight. And, you know, there is a long-standing war all throughout the year between, of course, uh, the, uh, well, here we go. Long-standing war between Diana Michelle and Exotic Youth. And uh, who knows if that'll come into play here tonight as we now see the opponent. The Infinity Stone of the Hierarchy, Kenway, after debuting just a few months ago here in SHW, has uh, really gone on to uh, make a name for himself here in the company, become a fan favorite, and has uh, done quite well for himself up to this point in the semifinals of this uh, tournament. He certainly has. Not only is he the Infinity Stone, he is undefeated right now here in SHW. Will that continue tonight in arguably the most important match he's had to date in his tenure here? here in the company as he's one match away from ultimately becoming the, the champion, the Jake the Snake Legacy Champion. But he's got a tall task ahead of him as he's got to take on Bryce Cannon. Now, of course, last month he defeated Zach Mosley, another third. Now, Zach Mosley was actually scheduled to be a part of the tournament. Right. So this is going to be really interesting to see because uh, obviously all of Exotic Youth has hitched their wagon behind Bryce Cannon. And as we mentioned, the numbers game always comes into play whenever Exotic Youth is involved. All three members are here tonight, and uh, we do know that uh, the Kenway has the affiliation with the hierarchy. However, they're a little too busy and focused on the main event tonight. And if you'll notice at ringside, you already see some tables lining the ring yeah. out on the floor. And that's uh, coming up later tonight in our big main event tag team titles match for the... Uh, Vote for the titles, and it's going to be a tables match. It's going to be pretty insane. Yeah, it is. It's going to be an insane night, and the idea that these tables are already out here, quite frankly, is a little scary because you've got to wonder, will, will everybody stay away from them? I, I thought I heard the bell. Did we hear the bell? Yeah, David Weekly, our official, has just called for the bell. And uh, as I figured, you got Pepperbottom and Mosley hanging out at ringside for this matchup. So we really have to ask this question. Who really has the advantage coming into this matchup? Well, you know, I hate to give credit to Bryce Cannon, but the way that he's been able to pull off the impossible, especially last month in that triple threat match where he had basically been knocked out for the majority of the match yeah. by the infantry right. before the match even started. That's right. And somehow he was able to pull out the win. And, and he, 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 go ahead. I was going to say, he didn't just beat anybody. Yeah. He beat Rob Killjoy and Zicky Dice in an insane match. The only triple threat match in this tournament. And now we've got a collar and elbow tie up center of the ring. Kenway into the side headlock now on Bryce Cannon. And, and now, oh, he's, he's touching the tip. He is touching the tip. Something tells me you're not supposed to touch the tip. Well, look at this. Bryce Cannon is living right now as he spills to the outside. 
You know, you got to think about this. We've often associated exotic youth throughout the wrestling business as obviously a, a trios team. Uh, any combination of them could hold tag team gold at any point in time. But we've never heard of any of them holding a singles championship. They get the opportunity to really make some history. And again, as I've said before, exotic youth has had a long-standing feud with the uh, general manager of this company, that being Gary Lamb. They would love nothing more than to garner a championship in his company. I'll tell you what, it's you know not that surprising. They've got a, oh, look at it. Big knife edge chop there from Bryce Cannon, but the exotic youth, they pretty much have a, a feud with everybody, it seems like. Yeah, they do. The only folks they aren't feuding with are themselves at this point. And there go the polos. Exposed chest. Oh! Meet the knife edge chop from the Kenway right to the chest of the frat boy. As I've often said, the, the, the promos kind of serve as a bulletproof vest or a chopproof vest. Ooh, oh what a forearm right to the side of the head from Kenway. He literally knocked the life out of him on that one. Whips Bryce Cannon to the other corner. Charges in again with another forearm. That'll loosen some teeth. It certainly will. And think about what it would mean for the Kenway, the infinity stone of the hierarchy, to turn around and end up in the finals of the Jake the Snake Roberts Legacy Tour. Oh, and Kenway with that gut wrench into a power bomb, showing off his strength. And look at this. Exotic youth now getting involved. They're not supposed to be in the ring here. No, they aren't. Here's a mat return to Zach Mosley. And up on the ring apron is Cornelius Pepperbottom distracting our official. And again, be, because the referee didn't uh -oh. see any sort of offensive maneuver from the other members of this oh. dude, there's no DQ at this point. Another gut wrench throw there to Pepperbottom, but now Bryce Cannon takes advantage of the distraction and is right back on the attack as he's got Kenway draped across the middle rope. And this is part of the reason that you didn't want to give the advantage to Exotic Youth because they have the numbers game on their sides. And it has worked for them time and time again, and it has certainly changed the tide here in this matchup. Bryce Cannon now on the advantage. Going to return the favor with a chop, but no, instead he faked him out and poked him in the eye. Now the referee reprimanding him. Oh, boy. And again, it is this kind of chicanery. And, you know, let's just say this. Jake the Snake Roberts, who is the matchmaker of this company, historically was known for being rather strategic and occasionally breaking a rule or two or five or six. Speaking of which, look what's happening right now with one of those polo hoop pop collared shirts. David Weekly now snatches it out of the grip. Well, look but at look, this. this is where the extra shirt comes in into in play here because now he's choking Kenway again right in front of the referee. And that's kind of a brilliant space. And look at this. These distractions are clearly part of the plan for Exotic Youth. Exotic Youth will do whatever they have to do to get Bryce Cannon into the finals of this tournament. That knee from Bryce Cannon planted firmly into the spine of Kenway as he wrenches back on those arms. And you've got to think again, Exotic Youth understands the level of prestige behind this new championship. You know, there are not very many championships in the history of this business that are named after ver ver uh, uh, verifiable, that's the word I'm trying to say, verifiable holders. Both men with the same idea, going for the kick to the midsection, but Kenway got the better of it now as he delivers another forearm. Going to send Bryce Cannon across into the corner once again, charging in, but Bryce Cannon gets those boots up just in time. You know, think about this. We've talked about the, the importance of this championship. Oh, wow, he was going for that finisher, but he didn't, he didn't land it. Bryce Cannon there. Wanted to close this thing out, but wasn't able, and he's, oh, Spike Seltzer, there it is, finally. This could be it. Put plenty of guys away with that maneuver right there, but not tonight is the Kenway able to fire up that right shoulder. And you've got to think that the Kenway excited again about all of the great things that he's doing. So exciting things here. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that, whoa, you saw that? Well, the referee caught it as well as Mosley slid in that, uh, that frat paddle to Bryce Cannon. Bryce Cannon, by any means necessary, trying to get a win here. And you know, poor referee. Oh, ho, ho. how about that? It's about time. David Weekly sending, oh, he's going to send both members of Exotic Youth to the back. There you go. Now we can have a one on one playing field, a level, level playing field of sorts, but has the damage already been done? And, and wait a second, while the referee was distracted, Mosley was able to throw that shirt back into the ring to Bryce Cannon, and he's using it once again whoa, whoa, to whoa, choke. Whoa, 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 whoa,
The monster, he is here! Cyrus the Destroyer has returned to the action building here at SHW 51. Oh boy! Last month, Exotic Youth tried to tro troll us by using the music of Cyrus when they didn't expect him to show up. He's here! And they're scattering like cockroaches. Rightfully so! Meanwhile, back in the ring, Bryce Cannon's not paying attention and the Kenway is fired up. He's fired up! He's ready to go! Ready to go. And Bryce Cannon's in trouble! Oh! What a shot! Big right hand and another one there from the Kenway. The Kenway is on fire! In fuego! Reversal there for Bryce Cannon. Kenway ducks the clothesline. Oh, and it's a huge kick right up under the chin. He might have knocked him out. He certainly might have. Cannon might be out, but Kenway's going to bring it back to his feet. So you got in mind here. What is this? He threw up the sign. Oh, and he spiked him. What a pile driver. Right on the tip. Hooks the inside leg. Will it be enough? He got him. And the Kenway advances. Congratulations to the Kenway! More lethal than a Canadian wildfire! I'm telling you, this guy has now made his way into the finals of the Jake the Snake Roberts Legacy Tournament. This is amazing, and again, we've not seen him utilize that pile driver before. And how about that? The return of Cyrus the Destroyer kind of evening the playing field a little bit there as they ran off the other members of Exotic U. This is amazing. So the Kenway has come in. He is still undefeated. And now he has punched his ticket into the finals of the Jake the Snake Roberts Legacy Championship Tournament. We know who's on one half of the finals. Who will be in the other half of the finals? We'll oh, find out later tonight. But look who's back up on the stage here. Cyrus the Destroyer, the man who's been terrorizing Japan as of late. He certainly has it. Cyrus, Cyrus has something in mind. He's got something in mind. Look at this. Cyrus raising the arm, raising the hand of the Kenway. Meanwhile in the ring, pitching a fit like a little baby. Listen, now is not the time, Bryce, for you to have a temper tantrum. You need to run like the wind, sir. And I'm not sure Bryce realizes who is entering the ring. Oh, it is oh, one boy. Cyrus the Destroyer. Oh, boy. But he knows now. Oh, boy. I know this is a great moment for you and Diana. I'm, I'm sure. loving every minute of it. <laughs> call you guys McDonald's because you're loving it. Look at this. Bryce Cannon going to go after the paddle. Oh, 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 oh. And it has zero effect as it gets swatted right out of the hands by Cyrus. Oh, boy. Look at this. Up on the shoulder. Of the Destroyer, Cyrus has got big plans! Well, here comes Mosley again back out. Oh, Mosley making the save. I'm so glad that Mosley's back is fixed because he could not have moved like that a couple of months ago. And if, if he wasn't able to move like that, Bryce Cannon might be no more. Look at this, Cyrus calling for a microphone. Uh-oh. Hey, is that you? Get your ass back in this ring. about that? And if I lose, it's three on one. Well, this is interesting. So one of them gets to, to fight Cyrus right now. Is that right? Well, look out. Up on the top row. He came through the crowd. Cornelius Pepperbaum is back out. Cyrus doesn't see him. Heads up. Uh -oh, uh oh But he caught him. The destroyer is called Pepperbaum. And oh, oh, my gosh. My goodness. And there it is! <laughs> Just like that, now Cyrus gets to pick two partners of his choosing. Is that the fastest match perhaps in SHW history? It, it, it may very well be because it was over just like that in three seconds and now as you just heard he talked to Jake the Snake and made it official he has won the match tonight and so next month we're gonna have a six-man tag match <laughs> it's gonna be Exotic Youth against Cyrus and two partners of his choosing listen Cyrus could pick two broomsticks at this point you're right I think I think at this shoot he could pick you and Diana at this point <laughs> and then, oh wait but he's not done he's not done 
He's got Pepper Bottom. Pepper Bottom might not make it to next month at this rate. Yeah, Pepper Bottom might have struggled oh, no. the neck. Oh, Pepper no. Bottom's in trouble here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, my God. Power Bomb right on the ring apron. Spine oh. first. And Pepper Bottom in a world of pain right now. As Cyrus storms to the back. What a turn of events here at the end of this uh, tournament matchup, GB. I, I tell you, you expect the unexpected here at SHW.